Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing Vault City. This is farm to, farm to fermented strawberry uh, at 6. Point, oh, yeah, 6 .5%. Yeah, 6.5%. It's farm to fermenter strawberry. 6.5%. Uh, this is one that I got off the Vault City website. It came in a parcel. A um, bunch of them. There's five more in the fridge. I've had two. Might have had one. Anyway, um, no, there was five in the fridge, one there, one's in my cupboard, five, six, seven, there was eight of them, um, two of them were the barrel aged sour, which I'm going to get to eventually, um, but anyway, this is one that I haven't had, I've had strawberry session, uh, and that was like four point something, um, that was quite nice from what I remember, this is just, um, well, farm to fermenter strawberry, um, I've not had this one. I didn't know this was a thing. I didn't know they were doing farm to fermenter. I don't know what it's meant to be. I don't know if it's meant to be a play on farm to table with food. I don't know. Anyway, it says, oh, there we go. Um, it says, taking inspiration from the farm to table concept. For that, it's like I knew. Um, we wanted to shorten the distance between local growers and our delicious modern sour beer. We carefully timed our brewing schedule with the farmer's harvesting window to bring the fruits from farm to fermenter in under 24 hours. That is actually really cool. Um, over 100,000 vibrant strawberries from Peter Marshall Farms made their way to the brewery and into this beer within 20 hours, which is actually quite impressive. It says that there. I swear I didn't read this beforehand and realised it was farm to table. I promise. It just happened. Um... Yeah, um, so what I'm going to do is, hold on, bottle opener, um, let's crack it open, see what we've got. Oh, hold on, oh, hold on, that's very lively, have to be done over the sink this. Okay, that is very, very lively. I mean, that that's really, really lively. I'm gonna put that down a sec. Um, I'll get to it in a sec. Let me dry my hands. I've got beer on it now. Don't want to waste beer on my hands and get it all sticky. Anyway, so we have got. I'm gonna have to go off this a little bit. We've got a nice Jesus. Um Christ, there's floaters in it already. The hell is that? Anyone else that's oh, gone now, of course it is. There's a big chunk of floater, and I promise it's like I've not even poured that much in it. The hell's that gone? It keeps disappearing. There it is. There it is. See it? Gone now. But anyway, so we've got a blonde going pinkish beer. Um, very, very, very ivory looking head. Um, compact right in the middle, then it's quite loose around the sides. Um, really, really balls up that. Poor. Christ, I don't think I would, but oh well. Ooh, look at that around the rim. You see that? Put that down. That is very. Anyway, let me see if I can just put a bit more into this. Yeah, right. Um, let's go for the smell, see what we get. Typical Vault City um, lactose yogurty smell. Strawberries. Uh, it smells like the Muller strawberry yogurt. Um, if anyone's had it, the little white chocolate balls. Um, it smells like the yogurt. Just strawberry, really, like proper, proper fresh strawberries. Pardon me. Um, strawberries and yogurt, really. Stra well, strawberry yogurt. Um, that is. Full of stuff. You can't really see it. I'm gonna pull the rest of the bottle in. You'll see it. Anyway, 
Let's get my uh, body and carb. Carb's quite light, but whatever you've got is sharp. The problem is... Because there's so much head, like, look at that. It's very hard to determine what's what's fluffy and what's actually body. Um, but it feels like a medium body so far. I'll give it a top up, see if I can lose some of this. And we're going for a big old taste. Cheers. It is sour, it does have a tart to it. It does have a nice tartiness to it. Um, so it, it really is quite sour. It tastes, obviously strawberries are the main flavour. You can't really get any other fruits in there. There's nothing else really in there. Um, it does have this lactose, yogurty taste to it, which is typical for most of the standard um, vault cities so anything that tends to have a single flavor so the raspberry or the blueberry or strawberry or black currant or probably the typical just one flavor drinks have the um, yogurty lactose taste to it. it makes it taste like a yogurt uh, with just whatever fruits in it um, it's nice. I feel like it's. Don't get me wrong. Farm to fermenter in less than twenty hours, and they've got this out, is is very impressive. But I feel like I've sort of spent money on something that is more or less strawberry session sour, um, or something of the equivalent. And I don't think they need to go all this. All out with it. Don't get me wrong. Six point five. It's nice. Farm to fermenter. The whole farm to table. Getting it done in less than twenty four hours. It's it's actually really impressive. Um. So far, they're the only brewer that I know who actually do this and have you know gone to the lengths to do this stuff. But to sell it as a separate beer. Uh, instead, you know, try and pose her off as another individual beer instead of just what it is. It's just the strawberry vault city at the end of the day. Um, that's what it is. I don't, I don't want to take away from the impressiveness of impressiveness. Is that even a word? Anyway. They impressed me with the whole doing it all within 24 hours. It's amazing. It's quite interesting. It's, I think, it's especially the 100,000 strawberries. That's, that's something to do. It's quite hard. But I don't know whether they should be selling it as its individual thing for X amount of money more than the strawberry sour that they actually do. Which isn't farm to fermenter, which isn't done within 24 hours like I say it's impressive but I don't think you should do it as a more expensive beer it feels like I don't want to say a cash grab but it feels a bit like a like they just rebottled something with a new label and gone oh yeah but we've done it this way so it's different and you must pay more for it because X reasons. Um, the beer itself is quite nice. It's very much um, full of floaters. It's that big There's a couple of big chunks at the bottom, actually. There you go. A couple of big chunks right at the bottom. Um, it's a good beer. It's a typical Vault City strawberry sour. Um, it's just. I don't feel as impressed as I should be. Um, obviously into it the story wise it's impressive but flavour wise it just tastes like a normal 
Bald City Sour. Um, I think with that, I'm going to go in finish this. It is nice. I do like it. Um, I will probably get this again. If I'm feeling in the uh, more expensive mood, and I just want a Vault City that's expensive. Look at that. That's had, to, that's had time to sell. Like, from opening. I just want that, you know, it's obviously in my fridge, it's been sideways. And since putting it from the fridge to here, I took it out and done that. I put it down. That pretty much exploded when I opened it. It was really, 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 really carbonated. Very heavily. I just wanted to get out, which is cool. And it's it's nice, but that's that's been sat there for almost 11 minutes. And it's still... That was very, very thick. Bubbles and... You know what I mean? It's just... It's a lot to it. Um, anyway, like I said, I'm going to go away and enjoy this. I just thought I'd show that off. Um, or at least show it. So, Vault City's Farm to Ferment a Strawberry. at 6.5%. Um, out of 10... What did I give Strawberry? I think I gave Strawberry Session an 8. So, I'm going to give this one an 8. It's nice. It is nice. It's just... It's just strawberry. And this whole labeling thing is a bit... It feels a bit too... Poncy, I think is the word for it. They're trying to... It feels like they're trying to do something that is... It's impressive, but... It doesn't really impact the beer, from what I can taste. Anyway, um, so, 8 out of 10. It's nice. Um... Yeah, if you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think. If you've not, I'll leave the link to Vault City's website down below. It's where I got mine. It came in a parcel. It was 50 quid, which is a lot of money. But it came with two barrel-aged sours, which I've got, and a bunch of other beers. So it's really not that much. Um, so, yeah, if you've not had it, um, give it a try. Maybe get yourself the normal strawberry and let me know if you like it, which one's better. If you can taste the difference, definitely let me know. If not, also let me know. I'd like I'm quite curious. If you like the video though, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc. etc. So on and so forth, and I'll see you later.